Good morning, everyone. We're down here in the driveway, trying to get some logs brought up to the house so that we can finish cutting our cut list. Now, after dealing with our other chainsaws for a full week, trying to get one of them to run and stay running, yesterday I finally had enough and I took Eddie down to Rural King and we bought a steel. So the thing starts right up. We bought the Easy Start 180C. It's got a 16 inch bar. We would have liked to have had another bar, but that was the biggest they had before the biggest one they had. The biggest one they had had a 20 inch bar, but it was $300 more. And for any of you that never watched our beginning videos, we are on a fixed income, so we don't have a bunch of money sitting in the bank or a bunch of money coming in. So we got what we could afford. I love it right now. It is so easy to start and it starts every time. So we're going to get these logs cut up and dragged down to the sawmill. Our plan is to work every day right now until we finish cutting all of the lumber that we need to start our bedroom. We really wanted to have the bedroom started before now, but with everything happening, with, you know, having to get the garden planted and harvested and just everything gets in the way and you don't get anything done when you want to get it done. Mikey's also sick right now, so we're able to be out here early in the morning because I'm not inside homeschooling him. But he's just got a stomach bug. Hopefully he feels better soon. But for now, let's get these logs pulled out of here and on the sawmill. Alrighty, we pulled these three logs down from the driveway. They're all 13 feet long. We've got this one, this one, and this one. They're 13 feet. We need to get six two by sixes and four four by fours out of these three logs. And that will be the end of the 12 foot lumber that we need for the bedroom. And then we still need some two by sixes that are 10 feet long. But let's get these milled up today. No matter what, I want this done today. I want these 12 footers done. So let's do it.
four inch slab with a four by four inch and then three by six is underneath that. So we get two
So I don't know if I caught that on camera because my DSLR likes to shut off every few minutes on its own. So I'm not sure how much of that I got on film, but I saw it through the dog. So <laughs> that blade's history, it barely would finish going through that piece of lumber so Eddie went up to get another blade and we'll get it changed out and continue on it was all my fault because I had changed what I wanted to do I thought I was going to finish making this a cant and then roll it again but then I changed my mind and decided to just go ahead and get the two buys off of here and forgot that we left the dogs up high so it was my fault it happens but we'll be back at it in just a minute
guys. We got, we did manage to get all three logs milled up. We got the two by six by twelves that we needed for the bedroom. We also, we got a lot more two by sixes than that, which helped to take off some two by six by tens off to our, our list, right? Mm -hmm. So we got like 14 two by sixes and five four by fours. And then a couple of little things, a bunch of one buys. So now we are down to needing six two by six by tens for the framing of the bedroom. And then we need a whole bunch of one buys. <laughs> <laughs> They're easy to cut though. So, easy to lift. Yeah, a lot easier to lift. So that's all we have for you today. Hopefully next time we do some milling, we will be finishing the milling for the bedroom because we would really like to build our bedroom, right? Yes. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for being with us and we will see you next time.